Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the difference between transmission lines and waveguides. Transmission line in normal communication like analog communication, digital communication, till now we have seen a two-wire communication like a transmission lines. But in the waveguides, we will not use any wiring technique. We will use completely waveguide components. Different types of waveguide components are there. Directional coupler, isolator, circulator, gyrator. Uh, like that, we have different types of waveguides. All such components are going to be used in the waveguide communication like microwave communication. But whereas in the previous uh, like analog communication, digital communication, a uh, wired communication have been used. Okay. Now let us see what are the basic and desert, uh, advantages and disadvantages and the differences uh, between these two communication systems. So the main difference between the transmission line and the waveguide is uh, nothing but a two-wire conductor is. So a two-wire conductor structure that can support a TEM wave. So two-wire conductor supports TEM TEM wave TEM wave in the transmission line but whereas a waveguide if you say waveguide waveguide supports TE and TM but not TEM wave but not TEM wave okay so two wire conductor support TEM wave what do you mean by TEM wave TM and TEM TEM nothing but transverse electric and magnetic so the wave which travels perpendicular to both electric and magnetic field transfers nothing but perpendicular okay perpendicular to both electric field and as well as magnetic field that type of wave can be traveled through a two wire conductor this type of wave is supported by the transmission through this two wire conductor Whereas TE and TM modes does not support by this TE two wire conductor. Coming to the waveguide, waveguide supports TE mode and TM mode. The, the waves, the propagation of waves which are going through this waveguide are TE modes and TM waves. TE modes are TM mode. Or we can say TE wave and TM wave. What do you mean by TE and TM? T transfers electric T wave transverse electric wave and TM stands for transverse transverse magnetic magnetic wave so if you say a TE wave transverse electric where magnetic component like we can say HZ magnetic component HZ is not equal to 0 and EZ is equal to 0 Z is nothing but direction of propagation. And if you say transverse magnetic, nothing but magnetic component is 0 and electric component is not equal to 0. So transverse electric, transverse electric, nothing but perpendicular to the electric field. Perpendicular to the electric field, which field is existed? Magnetic field. That's why magnetic field is not equal to 0. It's a non-zero component, but whereas electric field is 0. And electric transverse magnetic, nothing but which is perpendicular to here, transverse magnetic. Magnetic field, perpendicular component is electric field. So that's why electric field component is not equal to 0 and magnetic field is equal to 0. Such type of waves are existed in the case of waveguide, but uh, TEM mode does not exist. TEM mode does not exist in the waveguide because in TEM, uh, the signal must be perpendicular to both electric and magnetic but such type of wave cannot existed so in 3 m we can say hz is equal to 0 and ez is also equal to 0 ez is also equal to 0 hz is equal to 0 ez is equal to 0 that means then there is no such type of waveform existed in the case of 
we have made. So, may more elaborately, if you speak, let us see the differences between these two. Few differences are there. Let us state one by one. Um, transmission line. Transmission line. Definitely, this question may be one of the important questions because when you are going to the new technology like uh, waveguides, definitely what is the drawback of the existing technology, you should know. Before the invention of uh, uh, waveguides, definitely the communication was happened through wired communication. Nothing but two wire conductor. Okay, so that's why it is important to know the difference between the transmission line and this uh, waveguide. Okay. I will rather I will tell the differences. So as we have seen in the first case, it supports what is the first one? It supports TEM wave. It supports TEM wave. And what it supports? It cannot, it will not support, waveguide will not support, will not support TEM. But what it supports? But it supports it supports TE and TM. Okay. Already we have discussed this. Next. Using this transmission line, all frequencies can be transmitted. All frequencies can be passed. All frequencies can be transmitted. There is no restriction that only these frequencies can be transmitted. These frequencies cannot be transmitted. But whereas in the case of waveguide, only the frequencies that are greater than the cutoff frequency can be transmitted. The frequencies, uh, we can say the frequencies greater than cutoff frequency, the frequency greater than cutoff frequency can be transmitted. can be transmitted okay so here the transmitted frequency we can say ft is greater than fc okay all the frequencies all the frequencies the above cut of frequency can be transmitted that is the restriction and it is like a cut it is like a uh, high pass filter it is like a high pass filter a high pass filter allows only the above frequencies of the cutoff frequencies the remaining frequencies are eliminated that's why waveguide can also be known as a high pass filter and it is one conductor transmission, one conductor transmission. Waveguide is a two conductor transmission. Next, coming to the next one, reflections are very less. Reflections are very less. When the reflections will occur, when there is an impedance mismatch, then only reflections will occur. But in normal conducting wired transmission, there is no such type of reflections generally occur. If at all any mismatch occurs, then only some reflections will be there. But whereas if you consider the waveguide, Waveguide travels, waveguide is used to travel the signal, transmit the signal through the reflections only. I told you already the definition of waveguide. What is the definition of waveguide? It's a hollow metallic tube used to transmit the electromagnetic signal with the property called total internal reflection. Okay. So, by with the inner walls, the signal will be transmitted with the total number of internal reflections. A number of reflections are there within the uh, two walls of a waveguide. Okay, so waveguide travels, the wave travels through the reflections from the walls of the waveguide. So here the wave travels with reflections only. Without reflection it cannot transmit reflections inside the wall. inside the wall next fifth one it has characteristic impedance normally transmission line is having z okay two way it is having a characteristics it is having a characteristic impedance 
characteristic impedance next what about here it is having wave impedance it has wave impedance it has wave impedance okay so next one is propagation of waves is according to circuit theory but here it is field theory okay propagation of waves propagation of waves propagation of waves is nothing but transmission of wave from the transmission line propagation of waves using the single conductor is according to according to circuit theory circuit theory what about this the same statement here propagation of waves according to according to what is that field theory field theory okay <clears throat> next another difference between this transmission line and the <clears throat> waveguide transmission is it has a return conductor to earth but whereas in this waveguide a return conductor is not required as the body of the waveguide acts as a earth okay so return conductor is there return conductor to earth is existed but here there is no return conductor because what is the reason because the body of the waveguide acts as the earth because the body of the waveguide waveguide single word waveguide acts as earth okay so that's why it doesn't have any return conductor next bandwidth is not limited bandwidth is i told you already frequency in any type of frequency can be transmitted so all frequencies can be transmitted means no limit of bandwidth bandwidth is not limited same point but in a different uh, parameter bandwidth is not limited but what about here i uh, have pass filter i told you high pass filter wave get access high pass filter so it is bandwidth is limited bandwidth is limited and the last point of the difference is waves do not disperse waves do not do not disperse and here wave gets dispersed waves get dispersed because we are using halo tube we are using halo tube that halo tube ha uh, has in uh, doesn't have anything okay just whatever the wave that enters into the wave gate that uh, we using this uh, total internal reflection the phenomena just the wave is travel in forward direction okay so what how many waves that enters into the wave all the waves are dis uh, dispersed and uh, just uh, suppose if i am taking two waves this is the wave gate i am taking two waves so one wave will be like this another wave is also like this it immediately touches it goes and reflects because of this reflections again another wave goes and touches in a different shape depending upon the wavelength and frequencies of that so the waves gets dis dispersed in the case of wave guide but whereas in this uh, connecting path it doesn't have any chance to disperse all the waves group together and go okay so this is the difference between transmission lines and the wave guides